This is my account, Level 3 Skiller, and he's, well, a Level 3 Skiller. A level 3 Skiller is an account that is locked at Level 3, where if you accidentally gain one combat level, the account needs to be started over. This is a huge challenge because tons of areas, training methods, and money makers are locked behind certain quests that reward combat XP, which would ruin the account if I completed them. My ultimate goal is to get level 99 in every single non-combat stat, besides Slayer of course, before the end of 2023. And if I don't make it by then, I'm deleting the account and starting all over again. It looks like we are going to be starting this video off with a book of knowledge. As per usual, I'm going to throw that on Slayer. And now we're only 8.5k XP away from 54 Slayer. I don't know if it's just a huge coincidence or not, but ever since I uploaded that video telling people to hunt Black Chinchampas after midnight, I've been getting PK'd constantly trying to get to level 99 Hunter. So much so that I decided to actually come and hunt Red Chinchampas. Even though I'm getting significantly less GP an hour, me 3 tick hunting at the Red Chinchampas is actually getting me about the same XP an hour, about 130k XP an hour, that I was getting at the Black Chinchampas. But also since the Red Chinchampas themselves are less XP each, I have to hunt more of them to get to level 99. Which technically means that I have a higher chance of receiving the Baby Chinchampa Hunter pet by the time I reach level 99. The chances of getting the pet from level 98 to level 99 is pretty slim, but it isn't nothing. So hopefully we get the pet before I get to level 99 Hunter, that way I don't have to grind post 99 down the line. Just woke up and decided to do a farming run and I completely forgot that I was about to hit level 107 virtual level in farming. We are now over 28 million XP into farming and no farming pet yet. So as you guys can see, I did end up catching 2600 red chinchampas while I was 3 ticking last night and my wrist is obliterated. However, I am now only 71.7k XP away from level 99 Hunter, and I'm gonna finish those out three ticking yet again, but this time at the Black Chinchampas. Since I've never done it out there before, I wanna see how much XP an hour I get. I get a lot of comments asking me what my graphic settings are, and I'm gonna put a card on the screen right now that you can click on on the top right, and I'm also going to put a link to it at the end of the video. This is literally so much better and so much faster. I can't believe I didn't do this the entire time. I'm getting like 220k XP an hour as opposed to like the 120k that I was getting before when I was here. So that is definitely a lesson learned and I am going to be doing 3 tick hunting from now on in the future. And here we go. We are finally done hunting and here comes level 99 hunter. We're now only four levels until the 1500 total worlds. Alrighty, so here is the loot from hunting Chinchampas, I think from level 96 hunter all the way up to 99. But uh, yeah, 28 mil, not too bad, not too bad. But anyway, let's go buy the cape. Alrighty, let's equip this bad boy and check out this cape. Looks really nice on this account to be honest. And of course, as per usual, we gotta do the emote as well. It's not my favorite emote, but it isn't a bad one either. Oh my god, and I completely forgot that there are clan announcements. Oops, uh, I kind of accidentally ignored everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna say thanks in chat now, but I just want everybody in District 3 to know who is watching this video. Thank you so much for your support, it really means a lot to me, guys. But anyway, what I think I'm gonna do now is go for level 85 fishing, and then after that, go for 85 room crafting. And then after that, we'll see what we want to do. For those of you guys who don't know this, you can actually cheese your way through the surprise exam random event. All you got to do is talk to the teacher. And then once you figure out the first answer, as soon as you click on it, you can then click on the teacher again, and it'll ask you the same question. You choose the same answer over and over and over. So for example, here, I got the shield. I click shield, shield, shield. And then the event is over and I can get my book and use it on Slayer. So yeah, if you guys didn't know that, now you do. Just missed hitting the record button, but here we are with 84 runecrafting. Another milestone coming in, 30 million total farming XP. Just went off here in the clan chat. So yeah guys, 30 million farming XP. Still no pet, but it is what it is. Still here doing blood runecrafting, and here comes level 85 runecrafting. With my abyssal needle I have in the bank, I can now make a colossal pouch, which is the biggest pouch that you can have in the game. However, I'm not going to be able to use that until I get the abyssal lantern. That way I can have it so that my pouch doesn't degrade. 
Alrighty, just doing a quick farming run. Time to harvest my mahogany trees. And the reason I'm recording this is because I now have 31 million total farming XP. Still no pet, but what are you gonna do? Just finished my farming run, and I realized I haven't used up any of my cave nightshade in a long time to turn them into poison dynamite. So I have 138 here, so let's turn all this into poison dynamite and see what our total is. Okay, and that's all of the nightshade used up, bringing us to a total of 202 poison dynamite. Not too shabby. I gotta go back to try to get the flippers again. I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'm just gonna save up a few more that way I could definitely get the flippers or at least have a lot higher chance of getting them. So uh, yeah guys, I will see you in the next clip. Another day, another runecrafting level. Here we go with level 86 runecrafting. We are now only one level away from 1500 total worlds and we're also only about 222k XP away from 200 million total XP. Okay, and here we go, yet another farming clip, and in this one I'm getting level 108 farming. Level 108 farming is 31,786,000 XP, and in order to go from level 108 to level 109 farming, I need 3.3 million XP. Also, another thing that I've been saving up for probably about two and a half months are 100 hard contract seed packs. Yeah, we got 100 seed packs in the bank, all from hard farming contracts, and we are going to be opening all of those right now. First things first, I'm gonna dump all of the seeds that I have in my bank into the seed vault, that way I can see the exact loot that I get. And all right guys, let's get right into it. Real quick guys, if you made it this far in the video, I'm assuming that you are enjoying it, so it would really mean a lot to me if you could hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I'm trying to reach 15,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I know that's a tall order, but I really believe that it is attainable. I really do genuinely appreciate all the support that I've been getting so far on this channel. I really want to give a real heartfelt thank you to all of my supporters of the channel. It does truly mean a lot to me. Thanks guys. All right, these are the last three seed packs. And all right, everything is done. Okay, so here is the loot. I have some of my seeds in another tab that I use for farming, so yeah, I'm not gonna move those over and mess up all my bank layouts. But as you can see up here at the top, the total of 100 hard seed packs from doing farming contracts is 5.6 mil. Some of the standouts here are obviously we got 10 Celastra seeds worth about 700k, 14 dragon fruit tree seeds worth about 2.1 mil. We also have about 900k worth of snake grass seed, 213k worth of maple seeds, 225k worth of yew seeds, 226k worth of palm tree seeds, 265k worth of ranar seeds, 468k worth of snapdragon seeds, 62k worth of mahogany tree seeds, as well as only one redwood tree seed, and two magic seeds worth a total of 130k. So yeah, if you guys are curious to see how much money you can make doing hard farming contracts, here's your answer. But yeah guys, this is where I'm actually going to end today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like below. I'm sorry this video took way too long to come out. I'm just trying not to burn out, guys. I don't want to give up on the series, so I've been taking my time and doing more AFK methods. I do have some other video ideas in the works, so keep a lookout for those. But anyway, guys, as I said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you 
in the next one.